area filled with drab, uninspired warehouses, Wynwood has easily become one of the brightest and most fun places in all of Miami. The art is everywhere. My name is Adam Meshberg. I'm the founder and principal of the Meshberg Group, an architecture and interior design firm in Brooklyn and Miami. We work a lot on multifamily residential projects like Wynwood 25, doing interior spaces, amenity spaces, and facades as well. Can you imagine living in a place with such a fun and colorful vibe? On today's SoFo Home Project, we tour an amazing creative apartment community located in the heart of Wynwood. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Today we're in Wynwood checking out Wynwood 25, one of the first residential buildings to open in the area, designed by Adam Meshberg from Meshberg Group. This project is the first large-scale residential community of its type in Wynwood, so it, it needed to set a standard, and we tried to do that here with the design, the aesthetic, the attention to detail that the, both the developers put into the project and myself. Adam, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thanks for it's having me. This is awesome. You. So tell us about the task of working on this project. The developers found me because we have offices in Brooklyn and Miami and because of Wynwood's industrial history they wanted to bring a little bit of Brooklyn down here. We are known for our adaptive reuse style design, lots of old buildings in Brooklyn and we've restored them, converted them into residential projects and we have a industrial modern aesthetic. Now how did you sort of infuse that like New York style into the Miami area? So we looked at Wynwood's Pass, which is an industrial neighborhood that didn't really have any residential community and we wanted to mix that with its current colorful vibrant arts community so we took elements from the industrial palette with the wood beams and the concrete and the terrazzo a little bit and we mixed it with certain places where we wanted curated art to be very cool yeah. sounds like there's a lot of gonna be a lot of unexpected fun pops of great art exactly mixed with a lot of cool materials and we are gonna go check that out now so let's go all right our target audience for the project was young professionals, uh, international people, creative types, and wanted to be in a more younger, vibrant, new neighborhood. These are the people we, we designed for. Wow, this looks awesome. I almost can't believe this is a studio space because it feels so large. Yeah, we're in the model unit studio right now. This 560 square foot studio apartment has all the comforts of home in this small space. The tall ceilings and floor-to-ceiling windows make this room feel spacious and bright. So Adam, you have, you're from New York, and so you're familiar with small spaces. Did some of that knowledge come into play when especially kind of dealing with the studio spaces in this building? Absolutely. In a studio especially, we try to show a prospective tenant what the space would look like with a big bed, but there's a lot of different ways you could or should lay out a studio. Murphy beds, croutons, things like that. That way you have you can have a living space and you can have your bed and you can entertain and it, it's much more functional than when you just have a bed like we've staged this one. And the color palette is also very, kind of fits the area and, and Florida. Yeah, we wanted the whole experience of the building to tie in. So when you're coming into the lobby and going into the amenity spaces and then when you enter your apartment, Everything is tied together and it's this cohesive experience. Now, you really utilized the space well and, and added some pieces for the model that really show the versatility of the room. This here doubles as a desk, sort of as a media console. You can eat here, you can work there. You also have a little chaise here for, for guests and things. So you need to make studios be multifunctional and I think we try to stage them this way on purpose. Yeah, it's staged perfectly because you really get the vibe of how you would live in the space. Yeah, and, it's, and we try to warm it up with some colors as well because people don't always have white and light gray sheets and couches. <laughs> Absolutely, but you gave a great palette to add color if you want to, like with the white subway tile and everything else that kind of brings yeah, a very simple, neutral vibe. Simple features like this and then the tile and the stack pattern. The subway tile is classic. Exactly, exactly. But with that setting, it sort of modernizes the feel with all that linear setting yep. of the tile. I think sometimes when we think about longevity, it's just putting in great durable materials that will last. Yep. 
and keeping them in neutrals helps them last the test yes, of time. Exactly. We want them to be timeless. We don't want things to get old over time. Well, this is a great space and I can't wait to check out more. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we see more creative spaces in this modern urban community. I'm Tacker Nauta with FHIA, and we're going to speak with a few of our homeowners to find out exactly how their project turned out on today's SoFlo Home Project. our SoFlo Home Project tour of this Wynwood Creative Apartment community with Adam Meshberg from Meshberg Group. So now we're in the one bedroom model unit at Wynwood 25 and we are checking out all the cool features of this space. This model unit is 1200 square foot apartment with one bedroom and one bath. It's spacious and modern with a touch of urban style. The first thing that caught my eye about this space was that this is like a table, not fully like an island with cabinetry, but more of a table, which is so functional. A lot of people have trouble imagining what piece to put here. It's definitely just such an elevated sense of design. It is hard to match the sit furniture. Here like this. It looks so comfortable. Love the counter yeah. height. And you could seat easily four people here. There's so many great things about this kitchen. I love that you don't see the traditional microwave over the range. Yes, that's a huge pet peeve of mine. And it was very important not to have this look like your typical rental building. And we try to hide all our microwaves. So you have here this lots of millwork. You have a pantry here with an outlet behind it. So we have the microwave inside of here. Awesome. Yeah, you can keep all your other appliances in there as well. It's very out clean. of sight, out of mind, very clean. I like my countertops clean like that. So the kitchen looks fabulous. Now let's talk about the living room, all which right, is equally as great. Let me show you here. So we set this one bedroom up with a sectional and a TV and a console here, which is a pretty typical way to set things up. Nice marble coffee table here, great which look. is a nice element. But you really could set this living room up in any way. You could have a smaller couch, you could have two club chairs here, you could do a large sectional. And with the island and having this, you don't have to worry about a dining room yes. table. So it really functions pretty well. I'm real happy with the way it came out. Absolutely. I think getting rid of the need for a separate dining room and kind of bringing that into the kitchen really is fantastic. I think people are living this way more and more where they don't need a formal dining room there. Everyone's used to sort of getting together at this place here. We don't need to sit down. They can have their dinner parties like people have their dinner parties today. Well, and especially here in Wynwood because there's so many great restaurants right outside. We were able to make the spaces have larger feelings, higher ceilings, taller cabinets, lighter materials, and that gives your smaller space a bigger feeling. It's great, and again, with the floor-to-ceiling windows and all this height, the room just feels so grand. Yeah, it really kind of like brings a lot of the outside in, mm -hmm. I think, when you have floor-to-ceiling windows like that. So speaking of windows and great views of the city, let's check out what Project Takarada from Florida Home Improvement Associates has for us today. Throughout this year, we've been able to help so many families get their projects done exactly how they wanted. We felt it would be a great time to take a look at some of those installations to see exactly how everything turned out. From roofing projects to window projects, a lot of happy families in South Florida. Let's take a look. We purchased in May and as soon as rainy season hit, we definitely noticed it had to be done now. And the roof's already been at the end of its life, so we didn't want to wait till it was completely over. So having you guys come out was important to us and getting it done. The process itself was not painful at all um, with the windows or the roof. So I definitely do recommend people to go through your company because it just was a smooth transition from that old cruddy looking roof to this beautiful roof we have now. Okay. It rained last night and it poured and we were so happy to see that the area we had a problem with, there was no problems at all. And our windows, it looked so beautiful looking out our windows onto our roof as the rain just fell and glided right off of it. <laughs> the experience on our end was awesome. We're so happy with this roof and we're so happy with the longevity that we're looking forward to. So thank you so much, like we love it. <laughs> One of the common things that we heard when we stopped by these installations, especially to film, was how clean the crews were and how great the installation process was. Let's listen to a few of the homeowners talk about that experience. The cleanliness, uh, putting the zip barrier and things up, the quality, 
of the installation. It looks 100% professional. This is one of the best jobs I've ever seen. The uh, representative, he was phenomenal. He answered every single question either one of us can throw at him. Let me tell you, when I walked in the room and I said, you have this whole place just cut off here. I've had workers in my home. They don't do that. I mean, I was amazed that they took every precaution. It was amazed, amazed how clean, how orderly, how friendly, how courteous your men were. I was really impressed with them, and I had to stop and tell you. No doubt the coolest part about being able to do this every week is getting to see so many great installations and how happy families are with their decisions they made and the final outcome. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Pat. So now we're going to talk about the bedroom, which is equally as great as all the rest of these living spaces. It is. These one bedrooms have very spacious bedrooms with very big walk-in closets, which I think is a great feature for the great project. Feature. What I thought was cool in the bedroom is sort of how you kind of use some of the, uh, what's the architecture of the building to kind of create more areas for storage with the shelving. There were little juts in the walls where we installed some floating shelves, which gives people an idea where they can put their books or their photographs and things like that. We put a little desk in there and a big full-length mirror to your large walk-in shower, bathroom. We used nice uh, duvet covers and lots of throw pillows. So it really, you know, instead of looking like your sort of cold staged apartment, this is trying to look like a cozy, warm place where someone can envision themselves really living in. Yeah, it has like a modern industrial vibe, but still feels warm. Yeah, that's, that, that's where we're going. I'm glad you feel that. De well, you definitely get that vibe. And I think a lot of the, the greenery and a lot of the wood tones and then all of the other materials, it all comes together and gives an amazing cohesive look that it feels like wind wood. Coming up next, we explore more clever design in this creative community. Welcome back. We're now here in the Garden Lounge. Adam's modern urban design extends to the common areas in this building which represent additional living space to the residents. And people who are creative tend to come to spaces that are a little bit more creative. So we decided to, to make that a feature of the project and, and it's, it's drawn a lot of people. This space really has an amazing mix of textures and materials. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite spaces in the building first off, but it also comes to all the elements of the building all the materials in, in one space. It has the white oak beams, Love it those. has the gray and blue palette, it has the exposed brick. This is a multifunctional space. It works as a co-working space at daytime and at nighttime it works as a lounge and it really, it gets used that way. It's pretty, I'm excited that it does and people enjoy it. Absolutely, it's got a lot of great seating areas. Why don't we come check this out? Sure. I love the way it's sectioned off. You have banquette seating, you have um, table seating, you have lounge type. So large spaces like this are hard to break up and try to make them feel intimate. But what we did is we created two larger group areas right here where you have a couch and, and two club chairs that, that are lightweight enough that can be moved around. So you've got bigger groups could sit here. The blue chairs can be for someone who's by themselves. The banquette could be used for a group or something like that. We center, we like to center and anchor the space with a communal table like behind us here. So we try to create spaces within spaces and we do that also with the ceiling. Now I love the way you bought in the millwork on top of the brick and then have the lighting from above. Like that just creates such an, a cool vibe. Was that something you've done before? It's such an interesting mix. Yeah, we're used to dealing with existing spaces that have brick walls New or York. concrete walls. <laughs> so when we apply a design to it, we usually do something like this. When you juxtapose a rough brick and a smooth wood, it really comes out pretty nice. And the banquette style seating is cool because it almost feels like a commercial space or like maybe, you know, like a little bit of a cafe of sorts. It has like a little bit of like an Apple store kind of feeling maybe, you know? With even cooler ambiance. Yeah. <laughs> it has so many great things. So when we design micro style apartments, the common areas become your extended living area. There's a lot of room where you won't feel like you're too cramped inside of an apartment. And that's, that's really designed specifically for buildings like this. One thing I'd love to show you is this bookshelf wall over here. Yeah, let's go and check that out.
Adam, so this area has such fun pops of color. It totally gives that Wynwood vibe just with the colors alone. Yeah, that was the total idea for this. We wanted to make these shelves be fully accessorized and kind of have the feeling of Wynwood. So what we did with my design team is we went out and we went to a lot of the local stores and shops and art galleries and found a lot of these trinkets here. Like It's awesome with the brick kind of backdrop and then I, I love the flamingo. You've got Florida represented gotta, well right there. You gotta have some color there. <laughs> we picked each book and each collection of book to show the different arts. We have painting, we have architecture, we have fashion. So if you're a creative type, which a lot of the people in this building live, this is a, a wall of inspiration. It's great. It's truly a curated collection of items that represent the area. Very much so, yeah. Hey, it's Spiro from Good Greek Moving and Storage, and you may know us from moving large homes, but we also move small homes, whether it's one room, uh, across town, or across the country. Big or small, we can handle it all. Whether it's a big move or a small move, you still have to pay attention to the details. We still have to take our time wrapping the furniture, disassembling things, and of course, placing and setting things up on the other end. Lots of people think using friends and family is a good idea. You may think so at first, but once the move gets started, you can easily see why you need professionals. Good Greek Moving and Storage goes the extra mile to protect your items when removing you. We wrap your furniture inside the home and then unwrap it when we get to the final destination. This prevents damage not only to the furniture, but also to the walls and the doorways. So for the best move ever, dial star star Greek right from your cell for Good Greek Moving and Storage or go to greekmoving.com. Next on SoFlo Home Project, See how Adam and the design team bought a touch of green to this rooftop oasis. We're back at Sofla Home Project. Today, we are enjoying the Wynwood lifestyle in the first large-scale residential apartment building designed by Adam Meshberg of the Meshberg Group. So we're here on the rooftop terrace. What's so cool about the space is I'm seeing all of the greenery so you truly get that oasis-like feel in the middle of the city. Wynwood itself doesn't have a tremendous amount of green space, so this is kind of the green space of the building too. The green touches bring this rooftop to life creating an amazing contrast with the urban views. We're right here in an outdoor cinema area here with four large 75 inch screens wow. together, modular seating, everything is designed to be flexible. So big groups, small groups, and this is just one of the spaces that this area has up here. So we're covered, which is great. We tried to curate it specifically to be fun, relaxing, sophisticated, a mix like that. Very comfortable. Like you could just sit here, like you said, outdoor cinema, relax and watch a movie on these like super deep sofas. And I really love the beanbag uh, kind of lounge type pieces over there in the stadium seating. It seems like such a nice relaxing alternative to an actual lounge chair. Everybody likes the hotel pool environment. Yes. So with the two tiers of the stadium seating, you can sit up high, get a view of people and, and across the pool having the shiz lounges. It's a mix that really sort of adds to the communal aspect, a lot of socializing and sitting in the pool, and, and that's a, a real anchor for the building. Absolutely, and it definitely feels like a, a chic hotel as well, with all of these great entertaining spaces and lounge areas. Yeah, who would want to live in a, in a hotel residence, right? This is an absolutely beautiful way to like translate urban living into like also relaxing resort. Yeah. And what's so cool is that everywhere you look, you still get that Wynwood vibe. There's cool murals, there's great pops of color, some interesting art. I love that big yellow gummy bear kind of sculpture when you walk in. So many fun elements. We were so lucky to work with these artists and, and developers that were, were supportive of the art component of the project. So between the famous gummy bear and the murals on the big wall and the other smaller murals, they're everywhere. And it's, again, it, it completes this whole project where it's the same artist that's on the walls downstairs, has done the big life-size one. And then even when you walk around the building, there's even more murals that are life-size on the, on the other side of the building. So that's the whole vibe here. And I think, you know, when you come up here, you can kind of get the whole feeling of the whole building. I think that's awesome because this is one of the first residential buildings in Wynwood. And so you really do feel that you are in Wynwood 
when you're here? My happiest feeling is when I can come and, and see the people using the space the way that they're supposed to be used, or they're living and they're raising their families in, in the space that the way we designed it for them. That is the most satisfying part about being an architect. Adam, thank you so much for joining us today and showing us this amazing project that you and an architecture firm have worked on. It truly was spectacular, and I hope that the viewers at home enjoyed it just as much. Thank you so much. It was a great day. Well, thank you again for being part of it, and we will see you right here next week on Local 10 for another episode of SoFlo Home Project. If you missed any part of this home tour, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You can also submit your design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we treat you to some spectacular Halloween decor ideas for the whole family, and even some last-minute costume ideas. Mm.